they get all this data, what happens to it? Where does it go? How do they, how, how could they possibly make use of all this data? To understand that, we're going to have to go into this concept of uh, data warehousing and data mining. First, the idea of data warehousing is putting all the data in one big place, just like a warehouse. And I've talked about this before. There's even a vocabulary word on it. Data warehousing is bringing all the data together into one place so that you can compare it and contrast it and you can get it all the data you want. Data mining is then making use, doing something with that data. Um, just like you mine for ore, you mine for the great nuggets of information that, that's in this vast amount of server logs and, and, um, and server generated data about what you've done on the site. So the idea here is lots of information coming from lots of different sources, all dumped into this big data warehouse, and then something comes along and analyzes it. So to dive in just a little bit deeper, and we won't go a whole lot deeper than this, but to dive in just a little bit deeper, there's a number of things that have to happen. So first of all, all the sources of information all have to pour it into the same place, into the same data warehouse. Second big operation is the different sources all have to be made compatible. In one case, there's an IP address, your lo the, the unique address of your computer. In another case, there's a cookie. In another case, there's actually your user ID and password that's observing this thing. So there's all these different sources from data of data, and all of those sources have to be made consistent. And that's kind of the process I told you about before of linking all of these different kinds of data all to the same unique ID. In Facebook, that's likely to be your user ID, and all these different sources of data come in, and they're all linked together. They're all from the same person because they're um, uh, they're all from the same person because they're uh, all linked to the same unique ID for that person. Okay, and then the final step is to analyze it, to run reports, to figure stuff out. Now, usually, by and large, over the in the majority of cases, the reports aren't really about you because, you know, you're just not that important as an individual. What you personally did on the website is not that important. What people do on the website is very important. So one report might be, for example, what are the trends in advertising? What sorts of ads um, do people click on and what sorts of ads don't people click on? Maybe Facebook is running, a, um, running an experiment and it, I get one sort of ad for the same product, you get a different sort of ad for the same product, or 100 million people get ad A, 100 million people get ad B, and which one does better. So those are the sorts of reports that we want to run. Those are the sorts of things that we want to find. Those are the nuggets of good information that we want to mine out of the data. Okay, so the idea of data, data warehousing means bringing all this information in from various sources. In part of the process of bringing it in from various sources is cleaning it up and making sure that um, all the bits of information that are all about the same person are all comparable. And then there's analyzing it and producing reports. And as I said, most of the reports aren't about individuals. Most of the reports aggregate. Remember that word, aggregate, bring together all the information about different individuals to find the great nuggets of information, like, for example, which ad sells the best. OK. So now you have all the concepts. You have the concept of web logs. You have the concept of other methods that data can be collected. You have the concept of data warehousing. And you have the concept of data mining.